Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, ATN Gaming here, and I have a new video for you guys. This will be a compilation of the War Robots Remastered. Since the new version came out, I haven't uh, posted or released any footage or content in regards to War Robots Remastered. So this will be my first video, and it will also be my video entry for the Zux um, video competition or giveaway that they're doing. Um, Zux is doing it on this channel along with Islander and also AD Gaming. If you guys play War Robots, you probably will know who they are. Um, so basically it is, is that you have a chance to win the new weapon, Havoc. It's a medium weapon, 200 meters, and the damage that it does, you cannot heal from it. Um, so this is my video entry to, um, yeah, to participate in that giveaway. And basically, basically it's a compilation of my gameplay, of my hangar, but the focus will be on the Scorpion. So I'll try to give you guys a lot of footage on the Scorpion, how to play it, how I play it, and to give you guys some, um, yeah, some tr uh, tips and tricks on in the gameplay of you know how I play it, and hopefully you guys will learn from it and be better at it as as well. Um, it will be a focus on uh, free for all in this compilation. All of the battles is free for all, um, so hope you guys will enjoy. Uh, by the way, if you do like the content I put out, um, please consider to subscribe. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's jump into the first match. So let's jump into the first map. Funny enough, ironic enough, from all the new maps on War Robots Remastered, Carry Map, in my opinion, is the least good looking because of the yellowish color, it's too much. And in the tunnels, it's way too dark. But that's just, that's just my opinion. Now, first off, I'm jumping into my Scorpion and I see here a Ravana. What I do here is that I'm trying to corner shoot it, but I know it's a Ravana with shotguns, close range. Mine's also close range setup. So I'm trying to uh, shoot, it, shoot it from the side. And I use my ability. And what I do here, I know that I cannot win from this Ravana. I at least can damage a little bit. So I walk away from my initial point where I uh, use my ability. Now, if he gets close to me, I'll, be, I'll teleport back. That way, he has to walk all the way from the other side to me. And if he stood close to the point where I use my ability, I would just keep running without using my ability to return back. That way I can try to avoid the Ravana, or at least stay at a distance. But here as you can see, I notice another Scorpion, and it has no less stand. And so that's a pretty good snack for me. So I go after it, use my ability, and, uh, and get the kill. Now as you can see, I'm not using my ability to jump back, because if I did that, I would have jumped back um, too early, and the Ravana would probably go after me at a closer range. Now at the last moment I jump back to my the, to this location and I run away from the Ravana because I know that I'm no match for him. Trying to keep him occupied, keep him running after me, hopefully that I will get another target uh, easier to kill. Unfortunately for me what I see here is a Phantom and this is a pretty high level Phantom. Um, and yeah basically I have no choice here. Or I, I mean, I have no chance here. So if he triggers my uh, last stand, and at the last moment I fail to jump back because I wanted to jump back to my location, but my ability was already uh, ran out, uh, and I couldn't, and I got killed. Now here is you can see I'm jumping to my hawk, and I don't, I don't know whether you noticed, but I jumped. Uh, or I use my ability at a point that when I would fly up, I would not go over the tunnel, but I would stay in the tunnel in order to kill that that opponent. Um, so you know, for its timing is very uh, is very important at that point in order to get it. Now here's the funny part: I, tr I I wait for my ability, I go for it, and I shoot this phantom. And why do I say to you that this is a high level uh, phantom? Look at that. I, I, I barely even managed to trigger his last stand, so he triggers my last stand, another person shooting at me, so I'm try I sacrificed my hawk, hoping I would still kill it, the phantom unfortunately didn't, and the other person kills it, right there, yeah. Okay, jumping into my Arthur here, I'm third place, it's not too great, but it's not too bad neither, because the top three usually get most points and most silver for all the kills and the damage that you do. Here I get... Um, Lucky and at the same time good timing because I get to kill them both. Both their last stand was triggered because they were, sh they were killing each other. I just come in and snack both of them away. Now here is a hog. This hog 
Uh, or this player is a very good player. You can you can um, yeah you can um, see that by the way how he plays um, and the way that he plays. Here is is that I managed to trigger almost trigger his last stand right. So I'm going after. Him. I'm not. I am intentionally not using my ability until his last stand is triggered right there. And here is he's using his face shift in order to shoot me. And somehow, it's a high level hawk, I'll tell you that. And he managed to kill me anyway, because I, he had, his HP was so low, I was still shooting him, even though his ability is active, because I didn't care. I get, I'd still get my revenge though, for spawning in back with my hawk and kill him. And I see here a Nightingale, so it doesn't really matter whether he, whether he suppressed me or not, but I try to stay in cover, because if he suppresses me, he might want to land and shoot me right away but i don't have my ability so i try to postpone it i try to um yeah get my ability and shoot him somehow i think he has anti-control because i used my lockdown uh module but he didn't got locked down so here again i'm trying to uh, you know walking away from him a waste time a waste time on his end in order for my ability to come back so I go to the left I go back to the right he's trying to suppress me here he does he should have landed here and tried to kill me and shoot me but he didn't so I got my ability back he lands I go up and I use my lockdown and this time he is uh, locked locked down his last stand got triggered He's smart because his last stand was triggered. He kept shooting because no HP would have went down on his part, and eventually get the kill. So that's good. Here is a, I think it's a hawk. Now whatever you do, and this is crucial if you're playing war robots, always stay close to a, um, you know, cover. Even though this cover was really small for me, I managed to use it uh, to, you know, stay safe from the hawk. I actually sh shoot a shot at him with my lockdown because I wanted him to be locked down. He face shifts, that's fine. His hawk is stronger than mine though. You can see me here trying to steal that kill at 600 meters. Unfortunately, I couldn't because there was something in front of it as well. And here, he is doing a smart job because he has the advantage from that level, uh, from that point of, of walking up and down that ramp. And he also he has splash damage, so he's managed to kill me. But that Hulk of his is also very strong. I use my lockdown here, trying to lock him down, which I managed to do. And I don't want to shoot him, because if I shoot him, it would reflect back on me until he's landing right now. I know he's going to the right side, so I land on the right side. Good thing he's not focusing me, so it's a good snap on my end. Now, this part is a bit unlucky for me. I'm second place here, right guys? But there's Ravana shooting the Nodens. I noticed that Ravana doesn't have last stand, so I tried to aim at him in order to steal the kill or get the kill. Now somehow I managed to miss misdirect or misshoot him. Make therefore the Nodens got the kill and got the second place. Now I have 30 seconds left. Right now I have to do everything that I can and shoot at him with everything that I have. He used his ability a bit too early. You can see that because I have the legendary Hawk Pilot. He couldn't suppress me. And here, but he, he, but I landed really poorly to be honest. But I was just being too greedy and I had no time. So I wanted to use everything that I can in order to shoot him. He here he suppresses me. I'm trying to walk away to get my ability anyway, trying those last five seconds to kill him. Unfortunately, I didn't get to kill him, and I still stay as third place. Um, so you can see here the rewards are not too bad and I am third place. It's not a big difference with the first and second place to be honest. Now jumping to the second map, this is moon map, I love this map, I mean the looks of it is great. And here you can see me and jumping and using my ability with the scorpion at this enemy because I noticed he didn't have last stand. He uses his ability for the nightingale, I jump back right away in order to have my cooldown started straight away so that when he lands hopefully i'll have my ability back in order to kill him uh, good thing the ravana on the left didn't go after me i have three seconds left one and i go after the nightingale 
I'm suppressed, I have to wait. Also locked that I also locked down. And I get the kill. Now unfortunately I'm sandwiched between the Blitz and the Ravana. I didn't return back, because I returned back, I would be standing next to the Blitz, so it has no use. And the Blitz was already first place, I didn't want to give it enough kill. But the Ravana got the kill and he got the second place instead of myself. But that's fine, I'm third place. So um, I, I still have a fair chance. Here as you can see I'm walking towards the enemy and what I do here is also crucial. I'm staying alert for my environment. I keep looking left and right just in case someone spawns in the back or on the left or on the right side that I don't know about and they might surprise me uh, when I'm not aware. So here's here's another thing. I'm looking around. I see that he, got no, he has no last stand. The other two has though, right? And I see another person on the right there. He doesn't have last stand either. So I made a decision not to go for the person in the in the third position, but I go for this one because it might be a bulwark or a fenrir. If it's a fenrir, my ability goes through his de defense points, uh, so it doesn't really matter. Unfortunately, I yeah see I don't get the kill, but number one does. or the first place gets it. It's a blitz with, with corkers that is right now a really strong setup and he managed to kill me as well so that was poorly done on my side and also unlucky I didn't get the Fenry kill now here I'm using my lockdown to lock him down but it's an outro until he flies up that's fine but that first place enemy with his blitz corker it's really strong and I'll show you right here is that I'm trying to shoot him what he does, I don't know whether he knows whether I used my ability already or not, but he's going after me, right? He's focusing on me, and he is shooting me. He is look at that, how strong he is. I managed to trigger his last stand only after losing more than 50% of my HP, and he managed to kill me. So that blitz was really strong. So I'm jumping to the third map, and this is the one that you saw in the beginning with my scorpion on this uh, on this map. This is also a great map. Not much has changed. Uh, in this version and the remastered version, right, or the previous version versus the remastered version, it just looks way more, you know, slicker, better, more details, better graphics. So uh, yeah, great, great map, and uh, great, uh, looks really, uh, really good. Here you can see that I used my ability, so I'm st staying behind this cover to get my ability back. I use it against this Phantom. This Phantom is pretty strong, but he doesn't have a last stand, so that's an advantage from my point and I managed to kill him. And I jump back to my original spot in order to uh, activate my cooldown. Now that's my first kill, right? Here I can see someone's coming in to 350 range, so I have to wait for my ability. And I know it's our Chun, right? So I wait for it, I jump to him and try to damage him as much as I can so that he triggers his, uh, he uses his ability, he does, I jump back so he can shoot me, and I stay in cover, and I know, I know he's going to go after me, right, right there, so I'm doing a corner shooting right here, trying to trigger his last stand, and trying to preserve my HP, and that works, I get the second kill, now waiting for my ability again, I see another enemy approaching, I have no idea what it is, Apparently it's an Archon, right? I do this, basically I do the same thing again. So I try to shoot him, but this one, this guy is a little bit stronger in my opinion because I don't I don't manage to do a lot of damage to him. And he has a he has a stronger last stand. And now he's gonna come after me. Because wouldn't you if you were in this situation? I do the same corner shooting, get his last stand triggered, I know he's coming after me. I have to wait out his last stand. I use my healing in order to not to die. And I go for the kill. I even used my ability, but as you can see, it was unnecessary. So I teleport back again to activate cooldown. Now here's my mistake. I didn't even see this leech right here. Um, that he was so close, so I had no chance against him. So he, he killed me basically. But uh, yeah, three kills with a uh, with a scorpion gives me the second place. Now here's the funny part as well. I noticed that this guy, as you can see, is shooting those rockets, those heavy type of rockets. I forget the name, but I know it's 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 a free kill. It's a free snap basically. But I also see the Archon coming in, and I was hoping that my weapons would kill him on time, but unfortunately it didn't. 
So, but I, so I didn't use my ability. I get to use my ability on the Alchon. Locked him down with my uh, with my module just to be sure, and I immediately land in order to activate my cooldown. Now, as you can see here, I don't I have no idea what this guy is having, but he's not shooting me, right? So I'm like, why isn't he shooting back at me? And apparently, it's a Waylander with no weapon. So basically, it's a free snack for me as well. Um, yeah, so I got lucky there. I'm trying to shoot it with my weapons. But it just took too, it just takes too long, so I was like, just use my ability and kill him. Now, the only mistake that I made here when I'm using my ability is when I killed him, I had no idea. And this is why should, you should always be aware of your environment. It was, it was my mistake. I didn't see the Alchon coming in shooting at me, otherwise it would not have landed that quickly, right? But luckily, I managed to get away with just some damage, and my last stand is still there. But as you can see, I wait. I have to wait for my ability, and I can't take too much risks. And that guy eventually got killed by our first position blitz right here. So I'm trying. I'm locking him down, but he has the last stand, and I know this blitz is strong. I see the nightingale landing. I got greedy. Nightingale has no last stand, so I went for the nightingale instead. I think, right in in hindsight, I should have stayed focused on just one, either the blitz from the beginning or the nightingale. Uh, I should not have switched, but I got killed. So that was actually, I don't want to do the video too long and show you the whole entire match. Uh, but this is a, a short compilation of my gameplay and also my video entry of the Havoc uh, giveaway video entry with the War, War Robots remastered version that I have here. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, so if you, if you guys like this content guys, Please consider to subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. And uh, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.